You are watching Sunbelt Conference basketball on ESPN+. Fresh off a 78-41 victory in the season opener versus Berry College, the Panthers face the Western Michigan Broncos in the inaugural Sunbelt MAC Challenge. The Panthers come in tonight's contest 1-0 and start the season, and the Broncos come in 0-1. Makayla Tolliver, we talked about her. Patience Williams is in there. Crystal Henderson, De'Asia Mara, and Alyssa Phillip. You know, if you don't know who Crystal Henderson is, she comes from a lineage. De'Asia Mara with the inside. By Alyssa Phillip. Rebound to the Western Michigan Broncos. Early transition blocked by Phillip. A rebound by McCullough Tolliver. She snatches that thing out of there. It's going to be a jump ball call, though. Quick look inside. Turnover. Steal by the Panthers. And McCullough Tolliver with the Euro step to the basket. There's a contact there. No call. Another steal by the Panthers. Kicks it out to Crystal Henderson for three from the wing. Knocks it down. I like those second efforts right there. You that they're going to go double. Good trap here by the Panthers out on the wing. Still, Cameron Ziak gets it taken away from her, but Scoop Henderson gets it. A slip screen there by McCollin Tolliver. Good read there by McCollin. A great pass by Crystal Henderson. Yeah, the Panthers trying to find some offensively, trying to answer with their own three, no good. But Williams with an offensive rebound. They're not trying to do more than what they're capable of doing. And they're doing a great job defensively. Yeah, as, as McCullough has continued to drive left. Pass it around the perimeter. Got it there to Caitlin. She Big gets blocked. Big block by Patience Big Williams. Big block. Williams, well, she's giving them quality minutes. Yeah. Caitlin drives to the hole for the What a and big block by Patience there. But you know, you got to regroup, get to the next play. Looking inside again That's from a one Merrill. versus one matchup on the inside. That's when they got to give her the ball. Well, yes, the hot hand for the Panthers, Makayla Tolliver with the three. She has 13 on the evening. Trying to post up, another deflection turnover. Phillip fights for it, regains possession, looks inside, finds Mac Makayla Tolliver for another layup. Fortunately for the Panthers, Western Michigan does not make a three in that last possession. They get a look inside to Phillips. She puts it down, finishes it with a little bit of contact. Could have been a foul there. But Maya Williams able to handle it. She's driving, kicking out to Ziak. Shooter! She knocks it down. Digit lead now for Western Michigan. Nice pick pocket there by, by Henderson. Goes in for the lay, finishes it. Lamont, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Gets it out to Henderson. She's exploring, nothing there. Get into the secondary. Nice dump what off there to dish. Alyssa Phillip. A pretty assist, and the Panthers have stormed back. The lead is now 45-40. She was a player to watch, a consistent piece to this, but Caitlin's just been all over her. That's a nice welcome sight to see for the Panthers. Maya Williams knocking down the shot. Screen and roll here. Kick it back out to Hannah, and it will be an over and back call. Side to Patience Williams. She kicks it back out to Aaron Terrell. She knocks it down, and the Panthers are within one. On the perimeter, good defense by Ziak there. Oh, a nice steal there, hand by Patience Williams. Get it to Aaron Terrell. She almost loses it. Gets it back out to Ziak. Addy drives to the basket. Nothing there. Kicks out. Open look up top. Aaron Terrell. Another oh. big shot. Nothing but net. Um, she was a huge piece to that momentum run. Another strip right there from Aaron Terrell. And one, finished with contact, too big. That was a great, and she kept away from your pet peeve, which was she was able to finish with contact. They're gonna run a long offensive set here. It's easy to get caught up in that up and down pace, right? But you gotta work to your strengths. Addy with the dribble weave handoff, getting all the way to the basket for the finish with the right hand layup and one opportunity here. Kaylee spilling it, takes the three. Another and one opportunity, this time from three. Top of the key, and Kaylee is hyped. She's going to the line yet again to extend this lead for the Panthers. 59-52, the Panthers lead. As you see the replay there, off the handoff. Run a little pick and roll action here on the side. Look to see if they attack Henderson. Nice tip there by Phillip. McCullough comes away with it, gets it up to Addie. Kaylee is balling. Get it up to Zeriki. Zeriki tries to get it inside. Tip by Phillip. 
who's been very, very active today. Palmer, the athleticism, going to the cup. Nice little floater off the glass, going right. Palmer and if not, it gets her coast. first field goal. Screen, side screen and rolls. Henderson with a near, another block by Palmer. She's everywhere. What a play by Palmer. I mean, she just capped that thing at the top. Yeah, she's very, very athletic. Not only is she tall, but she has some bounce. Look at that. Skying up to knock that out of there and almost saved it. I mean, I think she surprised herself that it stayed in bounds. <laughs> they dribble the basketball out, Kelsey. Good win for the Panthers. A huge win for the Panthers. And, you know, this was a true team effort, Lamont. I mean, different players stepping up when they needed to. That's exactly what this Panthers team needed. And I'll tell you what, though. Crystal Henderson came back into this game with four personal fouls. And as a true freshman, she just instilled a little bit more trust with Coach Gene Hill that she can handle being in a game like this and not fouling out, which is huge for this Georgia State team. 